We're close to being done here. We've just got a few more things to dig out and then we can see it in action. Uh, this room seems to be done. So I can close that up. Uh, it's not perfectly insulated because we've got this, but it should be okay. Also, I need to check on the rockets because things always go wrong here. Uh, wait, did you return? Oh, you must have returned. <laughs> wait, let me just check. Did we research every? Yeah, he came back. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Uh, I need to build your gantry back so you can actually leave. There you go. He got out of there. Nice. Um, I'm tempted to make this petroleum as well, but then we'll need more oxalite. And we're not really producing that much. I think once I get the, the steam turbine working properly... What's going on here? That's really annoying. Sometimes it just breaks. Um, yeah, once I get the steam turbine working and that project done, my next thing will be turning to this and I'll produce some more power here. Um, that'll help just keep this running up 100% of the time. And I'll probably add more oxalite refineries maybe in here and that'll be a, a lot better. But yeah, first things first, this project. It's almost done. This room is done. This room is close to being done. All right, so this liquid, I guess if we could put salt water in there, I'm not sure if we have... Yeah, we do have some. Okay. We just need a little bit. Uh, should I clean out what's in here first? Maybe clean that stuff out. All right, let's see this in motion. Turned on. So, water will come in. It's going to go into this reservoir. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> it went out the wrong way. <laughs> okay, well. Wait, so it got blocked here and it, it doesn't even let it back in? Oh, well, it's going in. We'll see what it does. So this, it's 40 degrees. It shouldn't be coming out there if it's 40 degrees. If below 20, it should let it through. Ah, eh. oh, cause it's coming out of there. Okay. Oh, we keep getting food poisoning now. Frost burgers. Mmm. I thought that having the chlorine would make it not have germs. Why do they have germs? What even has germs? This does. It's got food poisoning, but apparently... Wait. Ah, oh, it's carbon dioxide underneath it. Ah, no. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe we should just make a bunch more tablets for now. How many do we even have? I don't know. Uh, medicine. Here tablets. 0 0.7. Okay. <laughs> Let's just make like 10. That's fine. Ooh, now we're out of rust. Uh oh. Spaghetti or uh, we still have a lot of rust here. I'm just gonna have to grab that I guess Gee, we're running out of it a lot quicker than I thought we would be Let's do all the way to the end. Why not and same here Just go all the way to the end Very good. Very good. Um, I think I've solved the problems here. I just need to rebuild these pipes and reservoirs and things. Um, but it should be okay. And in the meantime, they're digging their way through here. So, yeah. That means that they'll only be wearing exosuits through there. I like it. Uh, it also means we're going to have to close this off. Let's do that. That's going to have to be a thing that happens. It seems like it's doing something. 
Um, how hot is this? 5.7. Okay, so that's just going to go on through. Oh no, it comes out here. Oh no! <laughs> no! I need to sort that bit out then. This bit here. You know what I've been doing. I've, I should have been doing this the opposite way. So if it's above, then it goes through. That's the way I should have been doing it. So it's above that temperature. Then it turns it on. Okay. New printables. Mushrooms. Yay. <laughs> have we got rust now? I should really keep an eye on that, shouldn't I? Uh, what is it? Consumable rust, 16 tons, salt, 8 tons, good, and dirt. Wow, we almost have a ton of dirt. Cool. Alright, I think this is, this is what, mark 3 of this experiment? <laughs> Hopefully it works this time, but you never know. I also need to get in here and repair these. So the way that I've got it now, water will go in this reservoir, out into the first aqua tuna, then out there into this reservoir, and then into the second one, and then from the second one into the third. Yeah, that's that's the same as it was before, but here I've had it I've got it going in here, and if it's too hot, it'll come out of there. If it's not, it should go through. That This is the only thing that I'm not sure if it'll work. So this is five degrees. So it should go all the way through. Yeah, it just keeps going through. Hey, we lost some. <laughs> and where is... Wait. Where is this going? <laughs> uh... We should just have that keep going round, I guess. All right, shall we turn it back on and see if it if it works or not? I think we should. So what will eventually happen? It will, we'll just have water that goes round and round and round, like this. It's not really changing temperatures, I don't think. Is it? Oh, it's getting it's warmer now. So eventually it should heat up so much that it will go back in there, I guess. Ah, oh, this is broken. Oh, hold on. I have to repair it. So now we just got water going round and round and round. It's 44 degrees. Ah, oh, it doesn't want to go in here? It wants to go in here first. Okay, so we need to make it go like that and then get rid of this. Of course, why didn't I have it like that before? It has to actually go through the sensors. So it's not getting through this one because it has to be above 50. There you go, it goes in through that one. And it goes in that aqua tuna, so then this should be even cooler. Nice! Alright, I think that's good. I haven't really decided what to actually do with the cool water or what to actually cool, but it's set up, it's ready to use. <laughs> I guess. Uh, what is wrong with this? Oh yeah, we don't, we haven't really got any steam yet because it's not quite hot enough in there. But it's getting there, you can see it's 60 degrees, 70 degrees. But it will get there. Just need to finish that little bit there. And then it should be good. And then we'll dig this out. Uh, food poisoning. Our doctor has food poisoning. That's not what you want. <laughs> we're out of medicine. Wow. What? We're not making this? Alright. I think it's working now. It's all really cool and it just stays in here. And then if it slightly heats up a bit, it goes back in there, and then it comes out again. <laughs> okay, this one's getting a bit of action. Hopefully get a little bit of steam in there. 75, 70, 76. Alright, 
I mean, honestly, I'm just kind of happy that it works. <laughs> I'm happy it actually works. It's, it's like the most ghetto system ever, but it functions. Is this actually... Oh, this is off. Okay, well, if we turn this on, then it should work a bit better. It'll actually get some more coming into the system. Alright, I like it. So let's see this new hot water come in. Yes, it goes straight into that. I like it. Because this has been sitting in there for a while. There we go, we got some steam. These are idle? Because it's, it's still too hot? Oh, it's not hot enough, actually. It's getting there, though. <laughs> 107, 108. Yes! There we go! One of them's working. And now this one's working, too. Hell yeah! <laughs> awesome! What's the temperature in here? It's only 34 degrees. It'll get hotter. But I don't think, I mean, these are made out of steel, so they're never going to break. I probably didn't even need to make them out of steel. How are these? These aren't really filling up at all. 102 kilos in there. 900 kilos in there. Okay. <laughs> Love it. I think the hotter the steam is, the more efficient these are. At the moment, it's only producing 370 watts. This is 270. So if the steam's hotter, then it's better. Oh my god, what happened? Ah, shit. Again. I'm so sick of this. I need to make a, a robo miner here. It's just... This is terrible. I'm so tired of having to clean this. Everything breaks when it happens too. But if I want to do that, then I'm going to need some power going through. So I think it's time that we actually connect some heavy watt wire. How much can this hold? 20. That's probably enough. So I'm going to put in a, a transformer here. And this can just be to power everything that's around here. So just drag a heavy watt wire through there I'll need to get rid of a few little bits and pieces like that but it should be okay and then that can power everything there gonna have to take that all the way through here I'll take it oh my god hey what it's just pummeling my rockets oh <laughs> Because <laughs> we're out of power? Or... It says it's green. No power. No power. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that just highlights the point that we need power. <laughs> we need power coming through here. So, I'm going to put a robo miner here. I'm just so sick of it. Uh, where is that guy? There you go, Robo Miner. So he could dig all of that. Fantastic. Hopefully he doesn't get like bogged down with all the all the stuff. We'll see how it works. Uh, there's a lot on this. How much does it actually use? Um, it, it was like 1200, wasn't it? Oh, only 120. Okay. Why was I, why haven't I made one yet? Let's make one now. How are we going over here? They've stopped working. Ah, uh, these are full. Interesting. It's like we need a a place to actually keep the the liquid. I don't know. Because the pipes just get blocked. 
I could put it back into there, I guess. <laughs> it depends if I actually want to use this water or if it's just to cool. If it's just to cool, then I could just pump it back in there. And we made it through here. That's cool. So that means I should close this off. And we're not producing anywhere near as much dirt as we were before. Um, we have over a ton though. That's nice. Ooh, we're out of rust. Shit. We run out so quickly. How do we run out so quickly? Man. We're back on top of our food. It's mostly gristleberry and... 120 of barbecue. That's nice. I would love to be able to be self-sufficient on barbecue alone, but I think we're a while away. There you go, we've got more rust. 30 tons. That's better. That's better. Eventually I will probably just switch to um hydrolysis. Electrolysis actually. Ah oh, whoa whoa whoa. Where did that even come? Ah, oh, it came from up here. Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of weird that we get to the end of the map here. It's very strange. I've never really been in this position. Cycle 470. I know some of you guys is probably not unheard of to get over a thousand or whatever, but for me, I think the longest I've ever got to was 200 and something. So this is well past that. See, the water's even condensing. Which is not great. Is it salt water? It's real water. It was salt water, but now it's not. Oh, we got salt. Okay. <laughs> That's so cool. So if you boil salt water, you just get the water and salt when it recondenses. I like that. It's just a really roundabout way of getting more salt. Alright, there you go. So now it's coming through here. At the moment, I'm just letting it all go through. It can come back out there and I might turn it off at some point, I don't know. I just found out that there was actually uh, an update for oxygen not included in the beta branch. So I quickly reset and now we have automation changes. The following buildings have acquired new automation ports. That's pretty cool. So these buildings in your colony can now be connected to existing automation wires. So the liquid and gas vents, more vents, the conveyor chute, and the reservoirs as well. That's pretty interesting. I'm not sure what we would do. I guess when it like gets full or something, you can make it send it out somewhere or you can do the same with the vents. Like you can turn it off when things get too hot or when things get too full. Um, there also is a bunch of new stuff that I just want to quickly go over. Uh, I want to see if there's new research. There is new research! Oh my god, okay. So there's a, a sweepy dock. This is the one thing I want to get. So we'll quickly run through that. Um, what else have they got? They have a solid filter which separates things from the conveyor. So you can send it on different conveyor rail, rails. That's pretty cool. Um, an automated notifier, so it sends you a message like here. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. And a hammer, which you can use to make music, like it hits different things and they sound different. Which is pretty nifty. Uh, what else is there? There's probably a few things that are in technologies I've already got. I have pixel packs, which you can just use automation to make different coloring schemes. So you can use it to maybe sent put in a, a green pixel thing if something's working and red if it's stopped working um new automation ribbons so you can make it's kind of like the heavy watt wire equivalent of power so you can have four different wires connected into one and you can send it out with a a writer and read it onto a reader when it comes out the other side and you also have these different se selectors and distributors to deal with that information. It's all really high tech and it, honestly, some of it's kind of gone over my head so far. <laughs> but we'll quickly get that. 
Hopefully we have enough dirt to actually do the research. <laughs> Pretty annoying. When I put the regolith in, they eat it immediately. It's like we need to, we need to fit more food in there. Maybe I need some kind of conveyor just to get it to go in there because there's just too much. But yeah, this seems to be working nicely. The steam is not super hot right now, so it's not, um, it's not working at full efficiency. But it's producing 300, almost 400, so about, you know, 700-ish watts and using 3600. So, uh, but we're, what we get out of it is the cooling. So now that we've connected it up here, um, we've got all of this area to kind of play around with. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do up here. They still need to clean that. I can't believe that we've made it to the end. It's so crazy. You know what? In here, I'll probably make some electrolysis stuff. Because it's, it's kind of in the base, but it's also not in the base. And I'll probably close it off here as well. Let's go down there. Hey, there we go. Alright, so we got our sweepy dock. <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure what I want to get next. Maybe this ribbon stuff. I don't know how I'm going to use that. Some of the, Most of it's just gone over my head for now. But I, I definitely want to make this sweepy dock. And I'm going to chuck it maybe here. Uh, it's only temp artwork uh, just for the time being. All right, so now we just need a hundred kilos of refined metal. I guess that can be anything. All right, Gossman's going to come do it. There we go. Yes, we have our very own sweepy. <laughs> I'm going to cancel all this. Sweepy can do it now. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> so basically, he just goes around mopping things up. And I can choose something to put on him. <laughs> what should I put on him? Diamond, because he's fabulous. So he's basically just going to go up and down here, cleaning up all the ethanol. I don't know if he's... He'll store it in here? Yeah, I think he'll store it in here. Oh no, this just has copper. You can see he's actually got a little sponge underneath. <laughs> just mopping it up. But yeah, uh, that's about it for the update. I guess I'll slowly start using more of this stuff as I go, as I learn the tricks of how to use them, how to best apply them. But yeah, this little guy is definitely my favorite. Alrighty guys, I'm going to have to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and I will see you next time. Take care.